Hello there, I'm Meredith Blackwell and I'm going to be interviewing Sharon Cantrell. And it's very important here at the International Mycological Congress 11 that <clears throat> in Puerto Rico that we interview Sharon because she is the mother of the entire Congress. <laughs> and so I want to start out by asking Sharon how she got here. Are you from Puerto Rico? Yes, I am from Puerto Rico. I am born and raised in Maya West, which is in the west part of the island. That's where Don Feaster used to teach. That's where you, Don used to and teach. Where, um, That's where also Carlos Betancourt, who, mm -hmm. who is a Western the father. Uh, award, and he's most <laughs> of the father of all the mycologists here in Puerto Rico. Uh, that's also where Carlos Chardon, who is the, the first Puerto Rican mycologist, right. uh, end up, you know, the last parts of his years working in mm -hmm. Maya West. And then it's where Matias Cafaro. Matias Cafaro is a professor mm -hmm. there, and there's a group of like six or five, uh, five or six mycologists in Maya West. Mm -hmm. And I have a friend, Fernando Vega, at the USDA in Beltsville, and he's uh -huh. from there. His I didn't know. <laughs> yeah. 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 So <clears throat> you have an interesting background that I happen to know about. Your father came here. Yeah, my father came here, wow, at six. Mm. Almost, seven, almost 70 years ago. He was a, marine, a merchant marine, mm -hmm. and he met my mother, who is from Corozal, one small town here in Puerto Rico. My mother was part of, of uh, a group of, of, of kids that went to the naval base that is, uh, sorry, not the naval base, the Air Force base that is in, in, in Aguadilla, Puerto Rico. Mm -hmm. And they met. and. Actually, they got married five months after, so that wow. was like <laughs> that love to, at first sight. You had to, that to hold over them when yeah, you Yeah, well, I am the youngest of three, mm -hmm. and I am the last one. There's 11, 10 years difference between my brother, who is the, the middle one. So I always say that I'm the oops one. <laughs> terrible, terrible, but we're glad you're here. And so then what happened? Uh, you went to school in Mayaguez? Yeah, I did my bachelor in Mayaguez, and actually, when I started, I am one of those that study biology to go to a school of medicine. But then I spent one year in the school of medicine here in, in medical science campus, and I really didn't like the environment. The, uh, also, the professors there were not student-friendly. Mm -hmm. People didn't like to collaborate. All the, my, my friends, you know, Everything was for them, you know, and I didn't like that. I always like to collaborate and we, you know. Yeah. Yeah. So I <coughs> quit that and I went to Maya West and did my master in mycology with Carlos Betancourt. So how did you decide in mycology? Uh, because I did with Dr. Betancourt, I did a small project okay. during my bachelor mm -hmm. and I really enjoy it. So I said, okay, let's do... Okay, so, so it was because of him. It was because of it him. It wasn't because of an instant interest in fungi when you were no, a kid. No, no, yeah. no. That's how most of us become <coughs> mycologists, I think. Yeah, Betancourt was a great, <laughs> great, great professor. Yeah. So, and interesting, you know, I, I have gone through all the different groups of fungi because my master was with Fusarium. And then I went to... I did my, my PhD with Dr. Hanlin in Ascomycets. Mm -hmm. And then I came to Puerto Rico and did a postdoc with Dr. Jean Lodge and worked with Basidiomycets. So I have a wide... Yeah, all groups. I have worked with all and the then, different groups. Then you may be working with other groups now when you work in the, the harsh environments. Right. Do you get other groups there? In the harsh environment? Any, uh, no, mainly there's some... No chytrid types or anything? No. Okay. Yeah, why don't you tell us a little bit about that research? About the microbial mats? Mm -hmm. Well, um, like, I don't remember the year. A couple of years ago, I got interested in working in uh, extreme environments. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I met Dr. Nina Gunde, who is also here. And uh, we, we, we started talking and we decided to do a project in microbial mats because microbial mats was not an environment where people had looked for fungi. And of course, it's basically an anaerobic environment, most mm -hmm. of it. So you will think there are not fungi there. But there's, there's quite 
a bit of different groups, particularly Cladosporion, the mm -hmm. black yeast, are very common in the, in the... And they're probably not anaerobic. They grow on like the edge of it or low no, oxygen? No, you find them in the, in the anaerobic really? part. Mm -hmm. And yeah. remember, fungi are facultative Facultative anaerobes, right? Oh, yeah, some of them. Some of yeah. them are, so that's probably oh, okay. possible that they're working yeah. there. What they do there, I don't know yet. That's mm -hmm. something I have in my mind to continue at some point in my life. So, you've got plenty of time. So what about when you were at Georgia? Were there a lot of other people in the lab, other mycology students, well, in several labs? It was a good group, wasn't it? Yeah, it was in my lab. Was uh, Fernando Fernandez was working mm -hmm. in my lab? Where did he go? Fernando is in uh, Arizona. It? Oh, Arizona! I didn't know what had happened to him. He's working. Uh, the last time I spoke to him, he was working with a with a uh, company that does survey of fungi. Okay. Uh, Fernando, we has also, we also have Son Yuli who did the work with uh, uh, Ketomian. Uh, was Maria in the lab? Then? Maria Gonzalez, no. Mm -hmm. Okay. And and where was Charles Mims at? Oh then? yeah, Charles Mims. Yeah, was in there. So and he had some students. That's where I met. That's where I met the first time. I I met a uh, uh, Karen Snetzler. Oh okay. When I got there first time, mm -hmm. you know, she, she was, was working on, he, on smuts or rust. Smuts. Smuts. So, yeah. yeah, that's right. And uh, who else was in the lab? Julia Kerrigan was in the lab mm -hmm. also That's in my right. time. She's my neighbor now at, at uh, uh, Clemson. Yeah, so I really enjoy my time in Georgia. Was Timberlake still there? Who? Timberlake, Bill Timberlake. <coughs> I think he was in genetics. He, may he not was have in been genetics, yeah. yeah. He was in another building probably. Yeah. Yeah, but always envied that there were so many mycologists and people. Yeah, when, I, when I was there, I think Georgia was one of the top places mm -hmm. to go and do mycology, but there was a big group. It was Mel Fuller still Mel there? Fuller was there, was David there. Porter. Oh, David, I forgot David, yeah. <coughs> Mel Fuller, David Porter, Rich, uh, Richard Handling, of course, mm -hmm. uh, Memes was there too. And, uh, and uh, there was one in, in another department, the microbiology department, I forgot his name right oh, now. Okay. Yeah, you worked with Wood Decay, didn't you? Mm -hmm. Lundquist, or he was from... Norway, mm -hmm. maybe was that? The Norway, yeah. Yeah, I can't. Remember. He worked in the biochemistry yeah, department. Yeah, and he worked on wood decay with, and I think he wrote a book with uh, Bob Blanchett, who's here mm -hmm, now. Mm -hmm. And then I have never met Bob Blanchett. Oh, we'll have to find him. He's been around. <laughs> yeah, He's yeah. a really nice person. And then there are also now our new group coming in. I yeah. saw. Uh, I saw Marin Brewer. Yeah, there's today. now a, a group of young ones. You know, mm -hmm. Michelle, Ma, Michelle Moman is there. Yeah. has a big group. Uh, then Marin, Marin Brewer is also uh, doing a great, excellent job uh, in the plant pathology. Yeah. And then you have also the group that is in the USDA. That's true. Charles, Charles Bacon, Bacon's here. Uh, uh, Scott Gold, mm -hmm. Anthony Glenn. Yeah. Anthony was my, my, my friend. Very, it's my still very good friend. Yeah. Uh, we, we did we studied together at the same time. Oh, okay. And then you have a <coughs> husband who's a microbiologist of yeah. some sort. Is he working more on fungi or just he bacteria? did he did his he did his master with cryptococcus mm. in Maya West with one uh, with Alejandro Ruiz who is also a mycologist, medical mycologist. Right. So he did his master with Cryptococcus, which really he's also a mycologist. Yeah. But then he went and moved and do, did <laughs> something with bacteria. Okay. Switch. Yeah. But anyway, we have, so we have a good combination. He's a bacteriologist <laughs> and a mycologist. And we're finding more and more at this meeting that they're integrated right, in, yeah. in, the, in, the, uh, in nature. Yeah. Yeah. So you have been active in societies. Mycological yeah, societies. I've been so I've been active in APS. I was a counselor mm -hmm. one time, and in MSA I've been in different committees, and also I was the treasurer, uh, and now I'm the president. Yeah. I have good, a big Madam job president. now, and I'm very honored to be. It's a good job. If I, if I'm very honored. Mm -hmm. I'm flattered actually that I was elected, but I'm going to try to do a good job. And you've got your talk in your head. 
I'm starting to think of the presidential that's the, address. That's the worst <laughs> thing because you're trying to do all the work for the society and at the same time get something to talk I'm about. I'm going to tell you something, maybe you don't know. My yeah. name is Cantrell, right? Yeah. My name comes from France. Mm -hmm. And in France it's Chantrell. No. No. And it means a small bell. You were born my college <laughs> and you didn't even know. <laughs> no. That's amazing. And I know that there's another side of my story also that uh, I am uh, my I am Cantrell Rodriguez Clement Maldonado. We have those are all the names, right? Clement and Clements uh, are related, most of them are related, and um, I still need to find the link, but I might be related to Samuel Clements, who is Mark Twain. Yes. <laughs> Amazing. And then uh, there's... And that would make sense. He was interested in ships and, and commerce yeah. on the river, and, and your also, father was yeah. in the... And is all, it on your father's side? Yeah, my father's oh, perfect. side. perfect. And then, yeah, and there's also my, one of my great great aunt is gray who M my one of my great great aunt is sorry great great grandmother oh. uh, and she's gray her name is Gray. the last name right mm -hmm. and they wrote the story and apparently also they're all related with asa gray oh no <laughs> I don't know. It seems to be that I, I have destined. all these people. It was destiny. Yeah. So what about doing this meeting? Because you've had a horrible time. <clears throat> I guess first I should ask you about your home and how you survived in your university. In the My hurricane. university came back, you know, our chancellor uh, called all the faculty and employees on October 9th. What day was the hurricane? Uh, September 20. So we were closed from September 20th to three October weeks. 9, three weeks. Um, and he, he had a meeting with us and he said, you know, you know, we need to start somehow because we are going to lose the students. And he also said students need a place where they can come and charge their cell phone, have internet, and we need to give them that security that, you know, feels safe. So we started October 16th and we didn't have electricity so some professors were teaching the old way the mm. old-fashioned way on the blackboard <laughs> on the blackboard <laughs> not with powerpoint nothing like that but the you kid. have to do it and, yeah. the, and the kids were very happy sorry the kids were very happy that um that they have a place where they, they can go there was electricity, mm -hmm. they could charge their phone, they could do internet. Almost normal. Yeah, feel a little normal. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. uh, we suffered a lot of damage. Uh, some of the buildings suffered a lot of damage, but and still they haven't been fixed, but hopefully. Yeah. And so were you afraid at any point you'd have <coughs> to cancel the meeting, this meeting? I thought so, yeah. But <laughs> I... I said that when when Keith asked me, Pedro also asked me about it, Pedro Kraus and Keith Cipher. I said no. I said we are going to do it because Puerto Rico needs the tourism. We need this will mm -hmm. help my country to come back. And we are here. I oh, know. And you know, I'm I'm sure there are places where where it's really bad still. But what I've seen, parts of Old Town, well, as Joey said, there was a lot of blue tarps that we know from Katrina in Louisiana. Right. But you could see that from the airplane. I came in in the dark, so I didn't see that. But um, there, there doesn't see, it seems like they got this up really fast, all of this area where the tourists come. In yeah. Old Town, except for a few places, looks really in good shape. Yeah, we have a couple mm -hmm. of restaurants that they haven't opened yeah, back. Yeah. Yeah, apparently the damage was big, but... That happened in <coughs> Katrina. It actually happened where I live now. There was a flood just from rain, too much rain. And many places flooded and never reopened. But, uh, but anyway, I was here when six years ago at Christmas and you and Jose showed us around right. with my daughter and her <clears> family <throat> and and so I'd seen the island then 
and not being able to go back this time, I didn't take time to go to the um, forest. Forays. Yeah, so I don't know, but there was a lot of tree damage, I heard someone say. <coughs> yeah, the, excuse me, the, uh, the rainforest, remember that a week before, 10 days before Maria, something like yeah. that, Irma passed very close the mm -hmm. east part of the island. So the, the El Junque suffered a lot of defoliation first with Irma. And then Maria came and that finished yeah, all this stuff. But the forest will come back. These forests yeah. are used to hurricanes, so. Well, Don Pister and I were trying to figure out which trees were badly damaged in the storm. And someone said the uh, palms had all survived. Yeah. Which is what you would expect, because that's what they've evolved in, that kind of environment. But some of the hardwoods are the ones that... Many of the hardwoods I have yeah. suffered, yeah, many. Yeah, and we saw... Most of them, most of them, what they will do is they will uh, debranch, you know, lose their mm -hmm. branches, mm -hmm. and then the main stem stay, and then you get this, uh, I forgot the term, but this weird growth of leaves coming from everywhere. Oh, yeah. I forgot the term, yeah. there's a term. So Coli this, no, that's when. I don't, I don't know, but okay. it's, it's that leaves that start coming mm -hmm. from it anywhere, uh, and that's the way they look. Yeah. So you, you will see a stem full of leaves, like Brussels sprouts, something <laughs> like that. It's, but that's the way they start yeah. doing, yeah. regrowing. Yeah. So I was happy to see it <clears throat> looks so good. Um, now I want to ask you. I can't remember what kind of animal it was when I went with you and Jose to El Yunque on, on some of the trails, they warned you about, was it wombats? What kind of animal is it? No, the mongoose. Mongoose, oh, it was a mongoose, that's what it was. <coughs> Do they yeah. still have the mongoose there? Lot yeah, them. mongoose, yeah, because of rabies. Yeah, it has rabies. So. Do they find them dead or? or the After animal? the hurricane? Well, just do no. all the time. Is there a lot of rabies? High incidence or? Mm, uh, there's a high incidence mm -hmm. of rabies, but I now I don't know how they, you know, you will see the animal, you know, like, yeah, like clumsy. Yeah. How did they get here? Oh wow, they came here a long time ago when um, with the sugarcane plantation. They they brought it in so they From could. From India. Yeah, they brought yeah. it in to kill. Uh, uh, animals in the, uh, in the, okay. in the... For biological sugar. control. Yeah, for biological control, and it's a pest. Yeah. 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 But anyway, um, yeah. So, also I want to touch on the fact that you are a woman in administrator at your university. Yeah, until, uh, until July 31st. Oh, good, you're almost done. <laughs> yeah, so what did you do? I, I am, um, until July 31st, I am the the, the Associate Vice Chancellor for Graduate Studies mm -hmm. and Research. And that's a big hat, but anyway. So I, I, I promote research in the university. I try to help the faculty, train them on, on how to publish, how to write a proposal. Mm -hmm. I also then, uh, on, the, on the Graduate Studies side, I will I oversee that all the regulations, you call the norms, for yeah. the academic norms mm -hmm. for, for the programs are, I follow yeah, enforce and all. enforce and that if, if the student have a complaint, they can file a complaint to me and I have to oversight the process of... Do you get many complaints? No, we don't, term? we don't. Okay. And, <coughs> and where does most of the funding come from? My university have a lot of funds from, from the Department of Education, the, the mm -hmm. U.S. Department of Education. Uh, also, we have funds from NSF and uh, the Department of Energy. We have a big, big grant from the from the Massey Chair, okay. from the Department of yeah. the Department of Energy. Okay. So same places that on the mainland we get right. money from. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. And you brought people in. Do you know how many countries for this mm, meeting? No, I need to find yeah, out. Uh, there are, like the last many. time I, when I, I saw the report, there's over 30 countries represented here. Oh, wow. That's a lot. And I'm, yeah. I'm a little bit surprised that there's a lot of, some people came from 
from Asia. I was not expecting mm -hmm. that many people from Asia. And there's a good representation from Asia here, so I that's heard really there good. there was a problem with visas, unfortunately. The U.S. Yeah. State Department didn't clear <coughs> some of the people in time. Yeah, yeah but also some of those people c file their documents, I think, a little late. bit late. Yeah. Uh, if they do it in advance, it sh they should be able to get it. Yeah. Um, but, but anyway, it's been a great meeting soon. Thank you, and I'm very happy that everybody is enjoying it. Oh, yeah. Great. Yeah. Great entertainment. And, and tomorrow um, we have a big celebration. And we'll all be dancing, I hear. Yeah. I hope. Okay. Well, thank you very much. I enjoyed hearing all this. Thank you. <laughs>